Okay, guys, check it out. We're gonna work two top side entries here. Wrestlers come all. We're gonna throw a uh, cross body drive or the far side hook. Um, let me show you both ways to get into it. We're gonna use wrestling and do a jiu-jitsu scenario. You can also use it, obviously, for wrestling turns um, and the flat and people out MMA, so highly, highly versatile. All right, wrestling, so we're here. Let's just say Tim's up on his hands. I'm in my wrestler ride. We're gonna put in a claw, so my hand that's closest to his elbow here is gonna scoot underneath by his chest across this collar, and I'm gonna grab a nice, tight, deep grip here. Um, typically, I'm gonna try to reach for his spine if I can. And like I was saying before to, uh, to these guys, Anytime my one arm can capture more than one of his arms, heads, legs, whatever, I have a net gain. So now I have one arm for his one arm and head. It's a net gain for me. The other hand is gonna dig into the thigh and what I'm doing is I'm sort of turning him away. Right, that's gonna open him up a little bit. From here, my top leg from behind can replace here. If I'm in a wrestling situation, I'm gonna saddle that one in and go for the uh, power half. If I'm in a jiu-jitsu scenario, I'm gonna replace, maybe grab a wrist control, or dive over it and pull him into my hip. Or if I'm in an MMA scenario, I'm gonna replace, grab the wrist, look to flatten him out, and TKO him with strikes, okay? Now, the other side. Same thing, uh, from here, now I'm gonna throw the inside leg. So instead of throwing over the top, same thing, claw, Five, I run his body forward. Now this side is open. Cross my body, steps in, and now I can start to set up my turns, my tilts, me flattening him out and advancing position. Alright, let's do that. Three, two, one.